Hey folks, Ray, VCGameAmerica.com here. Okay, I've got something a little bit different, which I know I say a lot, but I really do, because I'm in a different place. I'm at my desk because I needed my Mac to show you this whole thing. And I tried it on AirPlay first, it didn't really work, so yeah, we're here. Um, what this is is called the Rivet, and I've been distracted all morning long watching this dude on Twitch, this like one-man band of a developer that's created this I don't want to say it's a Zwift competitor because that's a bit strong. Uh, it's an indoor cycling game. It's a prototype and they just launched last night and the guy is riding for 24 hours straight online. And depending on when you watch this video, you can watch him do this. You got, I'll link it down below on this Twitch channel. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and it's super addicting watching him, not because the game, though the game is interesting, but because listening to him talk about all these ideas he has. Uh, so I want to show you how it works. I've got the app right here. The game's available on Windows and on Mac, and the app's available on Android and, and iOS. Uh, you have to have both. So you have to have a phone and a computer to make this work right now. Now you'll need to have some way to go ahead and mount your phone to your bike. In my case, I'm using a quad lock mount, but you can use whatever you want as long as it's nice and sturdy. Uh, if you want the link for this thing, it's down in the description there below. Uh, but what's interesting is it actually changes direction based on my steering. So they're using the phone's accelerometer to do steering inside of here. And there are certainly pros and cons of this, uh, but you're going to go along and see my very first ride. I basically just made sure this whole thing worked and that's as far as I've gotten. I've literally gone like five meters so far. Uh, and so with that, uh, I got it all set up. I will know it is definitely like geek certification required here uh, to get this all kind of working. You can make it work. It's not super hard. It's all totally free, uh, but it just it takes some, some geekness to make this all work. So with that, here we go. I've got it connected to the Tax Neo 2. Two, one, it's a tax needle trainer down there. Uh, and I've got a steer. So as I steer, if I go hard right, you can go and see goes faster. Left like this. Get some more wattage in here. Uh, and you can't forget to steer. Like it's one of those things that used to like this lift world. And let me get in my big ring here. Ah. And okay, I guess we're not going to the big ring today. Sorry about that. You have to listen to cross chain for now. So it's pretty cool. As far as braking goes, I can then tap this big old thing right here. And that I think should brake. Yeah, that slows me down pretty quickly. And then we go again. That's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, the, the graphics are impressive. They're all based on the Unreal Engine. Uh, and what's really interesting, if you're watching his Twitch stream, he's actually streaming the entire thing from a server-side, uh, or basically a cloud Mac computer. So it's not even local, it's all done completely in the cloud. In my case, I'm running it local and chatting with him on Twitch a little bit earlier today. He definitely wants to kind of go towards like the Google Stadia route of having things that are all in the cloud uh, longer term. And that probably gets to a little bit where we are right now. So. Let me make my life slightly easier here. This is cool though, like the graphics are impressive and I'm starting to get the hang of this whole steering thing. In case you're wondering what happens if I go off course, let's pull Lance Armstrong real quick. Go over the edge. Boom, it just resets me back to just a little bit from before that point there. Um, kind of cool stuff. This will obviously probably have some challenges like on a rocker plate or whatnot, because it'd be all over the place, but it's it's neat and the graphics are really nice. Uh, the graphics on mine right now are set to high, but not epic. So it's like pretty high. And this is a Mac 5K, but it's two years old at this point uh, from a spec standpoint. So it's not crazy or anything like that. So remember I was talking earlier about the whole Zwift competitor thing. And this is at this point, the same kind of rough point that Zwift was when they first sort of announced themselves, I think on the slow switch forums at the time, John Mayfield, in that there's not a lot here. Like what you see right now is the sum total of where the game is right now. So there's no multiplayer yet that's coming later on this year. Uh, there's no like gamification or anything like that yet. Um, no saving it, no uploading it, no, no nothing on the app side. It literally just has quit reset this and break and and pairing a, a bluetooth power meter and that's it that's that's all there is uh so there's a lot of work to be done there's a lot of stuff that's still going to happen here but it's cool and it's fun just to kind of show like where in development some of these things are uh obviously 
what's, what's interesting about right now is this guy is one guy. Like, and if you look back at their Instagram feed and stuff, like this guy has been just doing crazy long Mountain Dew fueled, Red Bull fueled uh, developer sessions to make this work. And he says this is his first game that he's tried developing, which is even more fun. And obviously, I think they're probably looking for investment funding at this point to make this all happen. I think, you know, realistically, they need a bunch of funding, obviously, but a bunch of developers and probably a year or more before they're at the point where I think people might defect from uh, Zwift or anything else because like that's a bug right there where my phone went to sleep and when my phone goes to sleep, it resets it. And he wasn't aware of that bug and it came up in the, the live stream today and now he is and now it's like, ah, oh, I understand because in his case, he was doing long sessions with the plugged in, the phone never went to sleep and therefore a sadness happened. So anyways, they're just a quick look. Like I said, super quick look. Definitely not like review or anything because it's not really anything to review. Uh, give it a whirl, like, give it a shot. Go watch this Twitch stream. I watched from like, the 13 hour marker or so for at least two or three hours down to whatever it was like nine or 10 hours left, something like that. And it's interesting just listening to the guy chat about his ideas, all the things that he thinks and sees are imperfections in the game right now. I know every corner, every inch of it. I, found, I just can see so many little mistakes and things to fix that are gonna make it so sweet. I feel like spending this long Steering and cycling, I just have such a feel for what needs to be improved. So it's a little bit refreshing to hear that from people, from a developer that doesn't think that their stuff doesn't stink. Like it's cool that he looks at it and goes, here are all the things I want to fix and all the things I want to implement and tweak. Uh, and I know a lot of developers are that way inside their head, but maybe not necessarily in the open. So I think that's a, a good trait to have. Um, obviously, I don't know these people outside from hearing about them this morning, uh, but I think it's it's cool stuff. It's cool kind of support the little guy and follow the progress. And obviously you're probably not going to cancel your Zwift membership today to play this, um, but I think it's something that the industry will probably look at it and go, hmm, this might be a, a good piece of fruit that's worth uh, picking or harvesting or whatever and making it grow into a bigger tree or however that horrible analogy is supposed to go. Anyways, with that, if you found this interesting, go ahead and like that like button at the bottom there or the subscribe button or the ding dong bell or you know what to do. Catch you later.